Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a navigation menu to your WordPress website. Okay so let's go ahead and open up the web browser. Here's a little sample site that I've been working on for a client and here you can see like home, you can see a drop down menu with some options. So we want to create a menu system similar to this uh, for an example project. So I'm going to close this window and I've got this little WordPress website up and running. It's just a little standard website, you know, when you store WordPress, you get like your default theme. And if we go into the admin control panel and check the themes here, I'm using the 2021 theme, this particular theme here, right? And for whatever reason, they put this green background. So if you want to get rid of that green background straight away, just go into customize, click on the uh, color uh, here and then selecting this option and I happen to select the white color right but you can change it to whatever color you want I don't like that green but here here's white color let's go back to the website and one thing to note is when you're creating navigation systems depending on the theme you're going to get different options right so when I go over to appearance and click on menus here you'll see um, there's an option to add a primary menu and a secondary menu here so different themes will have different options to create different um, layouts for uh, menu systems but at present, there is no menu system in here. Now, one thing to note is before you start creating a menu, it's worth going out and shelling out your basic pages. So we've got like a home page, we've got a contact, a blog about privacy policy. We've got this little sample page here and we'll create one more. Well, let's create a couple of pages, right? So let's say we want to create a page called services. So I'm going to create a page called services and just click publish and then I'm going to go back so I've got this blank page called um, services here and I'm going to add another option so I'm just going to say let's say I want to create a page about website website design we're just going to create a few pages because you need these pages when you build your navigation system without uh, the pages you can't really build the navigation system correctly so we've got a couple of pages here we've got website design I'm going to add one more page let's do um, graphic design and we're just going to do one more extra page after this then all the pages to build the navigation will be there and let's just do uh, internet marketing right so we've got some blank simple pages to build our navigation off so we want something like a home page maybe an about us a page called services then a drop down with the different services maybe the blog and then the contact us something like this in the navigation so we've got the pages to go and do that now um let's go ahead and click on appearance here and then go to menu so right now i want to create the top navigation so we could normally i call it main the main menu or you can call it top menu it doesn't really matter what you call it but we're going to go ahead and click create and um we want to set this as the primary menu as well so we're going to tick this and click save now down the side because we've gone ahead and created those pages it makes it easier to create the navigation so I'm going to click view all and there's a default home page right the front page so we're going to go ahead and take that select it and then click add to menu so that will be considered our first page let's go and save this and we just go back to the website and refresh it now we've got home written here right home so let's create the next option and let's say that we want an about us so we tick about and click add and it's going to add it as a second option we'll save it Let's just go back here and refresh it. Now we've got an About Us page and we can bounce between the Home page and the About Us page. Let's go back to WordPress and we want to create a services. So let's add services. So select it and then click Add to Menu. And now we've got services and we're going to have different services listed underneath. So we're going to click on Website Design, Graphics and Internet Marketing, these three, and add them. Now you can see all of them here, but I'm going to save this. I'm going to show you a little problem. We're going to fix it. So when we click it, we can see services, but really we want internet marketing, graphics, and website design to sit underneath as a drop down menu. So to do that, all we do is grab, uh, let's position them in the right order. So we can drag them into different orders. So I want it to be in this particular order. And then we drag it to the right a little bit. We indent it like this. Now let's save it. Let's go back to WordPress and refresh it. Now you can see they sit down in a drop down menu like this. This is how I want it to be. Let's go back to WordPress and we want to add a few other things. So let's just search. Um, let's see what else have we got here. We've got um, services. We want a contact page. So let's add that to the menu. Now contact will be here. And uh, let's see. Let's just do a view all here. So when you click view, you can see every single page that exists and we're going to add the blog. Let's add the blog. But typically the blog would sit just above the contact, right? So let's just drag um, this blog to be above contact and that, let us just save it one more time and we'll refresh it. 
uh, we should have a blog in here we don't seem to see that so let's see blog is here maybe because we don't have any blog posts so let's just go to posts and we see we don't have any posts in here so let's just create one let's just call it sample post and click publish so you need to, I think we need to have at least one blog post in order for it to show if there's no blog post and you click on the navigation and nothing shows then it's not very good is it so WordPress is a bit smart it knows that it needs to have at least one blog post inside of uh, the blog system in order for it to show the blog navigation so we've got a basic navigation working here right and we've got some structure to it so it's not just randomly placed uh, we've got a bit of structure there which is always a good thing now you can add custom links in here as well so let's say for example just as an example uh, I wanted to add a link to um, my main website so this is my main DCP website here you can see again similar sort of drop down navigation and systems across here like this I've got a page called tools for example and it contains a list of tools different tools that I've developed or I've got my blog and you can see all my different blog posts so let's say we want to add a link to um, my external site but that'll be called a custom link right so to do that let's go back to um, uh, the appearance and let's um, let's go back to appearance and we'll go to menu we've got our main menu here and let's just say we want to create a custom link after contact us so we can go to custom link here select that and we'll paste in my URL here and we're just going to put in DCP there I'm going to click add to menu and it will sit after the contact us or in fact I want to indent it so it sits like one level below right so it's a drop down let's click save and we'll go back to the website refresh it let's just refresh maybe we need to save this let's just save it and then refresh now we can see contact us we've got DCP we click it and it opens up DCP I think if we go back here and then select this option here uh, let's see yeah this all looks this all looks um, this all looks okay here you can also move them using the options here but it's, it's just a lot easier to just drag them manually like this and just drag them to where whichever position um, you want to place them in like this so that's how you use this custom link function as well there are categories here right now we don't have any categories in the blog post itself there's no categories or it's just one called uncategorized but you can add categories into the navigation and uh, let's go ahead and save this so let's do one more thing let's um let's just uh click on um manage locations here for a second let's cancel this let's save this click manage locations so here you can see that there's a secondary menu option as well right um, so let's click use new menu and we'll give it a name so let's just call it uh, let's just call it footer because I believe this one should really show in the footer let's just click create menu and inside there let's click view all and we should have a privacy policy in here somewhere um, let's see maybe it's been um, let's just search for it privacy so I don't see any results for that so let's go to pages and we can see privacy policy set as draft at present so I'm going to quick edit and then publish it so that we can use it in the navigation so let's go back to our menu system here and in the top section here right you can select which navigation you're editing right now it's set to the four one and now when we click view all we can see the privacy policy let's add that here and let's save it now in theory this should show on the footer here you can see privacy policy right right here so this will be considered the footer navigation and you might add a couple of other things like the contact us down there as well so you can click contact add that one um, and we'll save this we'll refresh it now you can see the privacy and contact on the footer here and at the top you've got your main navigation across here as well so obviously this is quite a basic WordPress website it's just a default theme I'm just showing you how to build navigation it doesn't really matter what type of theme you're using all these different themes they all focus on using the tool here to build the navigation so even if you install a paid theme a third party theme if you're using something like uh, Elementor or even uh, Divi something like that these types of themes then the, the logic behind it is still the same. You still create a photo one, you can still create a main navigation, and you can use this tool here to switch between the different um, navigation options. So this one's for the main, 
and then we can switch over and go to the footer one and this is how you go about creating the navigation system now remember it's going to be very difficult for you to create your navigation system if you don't have the existing pages so you want to go out and just shell out some blank pages you can add content to them later but this allows you to build a navigation and you can start to structure it out uh, using uh, the tools with inside WordPress okay so I use that same logic if we just go over to my portfolio quickly and if we look at something like um, let's say Layla decorators and we view this website this has been built in WordPress and when we view this particular website we'll see that it has a navigation but this one doesn't have any drop downs in it it just has a static navigation like this but we use the same logic when we custom built this website to build that top navigation so i'm going to be making lots of other wordpress tutorials this one's a very basic one just giving you an overview of how to create navigation systems but now that you know how to do that you can implement navigation systems in any type of wordpress theme that you that you decide to use okay let's go ahead and minimize this this is a quick tutorial showing you how to create navigation systems inside wordpress i hope you find it useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial